good day and happy Mercoledì moment. Can you imagine today is the 6th of April we're recording this, this first Wednesday of April, and Easter is just right around the corner. And what I'd like to share with you is just three things, I think, for the month of April. First is that if you... Uh, have, uh, have the time and the desire. Our Holy Week celebrations are the most beautiful celebrations that you'll ever imagine and see. On Palm Sunday, this coming Sunday, we're going to be doing the outdoor procession with palms starting at 11 a.m. in the park across the way. We'll be commemorating the wonderful experience of Jesus entering into Jerusalem. And we will come into church, we'll have the Lord's Passion read from the Gospel of Luke, and we'll be celebrating the wonderful blessing of palms. And we hope all of you will take palms home with you. And I remember as a kid, we would take these palms home, and we would sit and we would weave them together, making little crosses and other wonderful things. And then my family would take an excursion. We would go to the cemeteries. Some of you may remember this. We would go to the cemeteries and visit the graves of our ancestors, and we would put on their graves the little palms that we uh, wove together, and sometimes the palm fronds, we would li lay them on the tombs, and we would say a prayer. Because the palms are a symbol of the triumph of Christ over death. So we wave these palms on Palm Sunday as a sign of our promise and the promise that we've been given and the hope we've been given of one day carrying palm branches in our hands in the eternal citizenship, the wonderful realm, the heavenly realm of God's reign. And these palms, not only did we bring to cemeteries, but then my mother would have us put a piece of palm behind the crucifixes in the house, and then my dad would have us make one of those little crosses and put it in the car so that wherever we went, in our homes, in our cars, even to the grave, we would remember the great day of Christ's victory when we all sing Hosanna on Palm Sunday. Your family might want to introduce that uh, custom back and to make a, a, appropriately a place of honor for these palms that we carry in church. So Brother Carl has bought plenty of palms, so take them home and take them with you and bring them to the cemeteries and honor Christ and the promise of the resurrection. Then we gather uh, on Thursday night for the Lord's Supper, 7 p.m. here at the Shrine Church. We will gather to celebrate the Lord's um, last supper with his disciples at which he washed the feet of his friends. And this year, our brother, brother Michael Joseph, the Capuchin, will be presiding and preaching and we will have, God willing, the washing of the feet where people will be invited to come forward so that we could commemorate the mandatum or the commandment of Christ, the mandatum. As I have washed your feet, so now you must wash the feet of each other. And certainly during these terrible days of war in the Ukraine, we, uh, we will, in solidarity, wash the feet of those who are walking on their feet to freedom. They're walking on their feet as immigrants and migrants and, and as, as people who are leaving, over three million of them, leaving the Ukraine to find new homes so that they can be welcomed. And in a sense, we honor those who welcome these, these migrants, these refugees. We honor them because in a sense, they are keeping Jesus' command and washing the feet of the strangers as they give them shelter and food and a future, washing the feet of their children and of the elderly in the hope and promise of peace on earth. Then the Shrine Church will be open till midnight on Holy Thursday night. Uh, we will have the repository at the side altar of Bartolo Longo, beautifully decorated, and uh, you are welcome to come to visit the sacrament and to abide with Christ in prayer in, in front of the sacrament of his body and blood as we prepare for Good Friday. On Good Friday, we will commemorate the Lord's sacred passion in two celebrations. First, we will have the annual Good Friday Stations of the Cross here in the church at noon. And then at 7 p.m., 
we will gather again where we will venerate the large crucifix that has been part of this church for over a hundred years. We will venerate this crucifix that our ancestors venerated through all the centuries, through all the decades here in the past century and honor that crucifix. And we have pictures of it uh, on Holy Thursdays in the 30s, in the 1930s. We have pictures of that crucifix. And we also found the good thief and the bad thief that will also be part of our celebration on Good Friday at 7 p.m. Saturday is dark. There's no services here in church, but we will gather when it becomes dark at 9 p.m. for the Easter fire and for the Lumen Christi, the proclamation that Christ is the light of the world as we celebrate the lengthy. So folks, if you if, uh, join us, it's a beautiful ceremony, but be ready. It's about an hour and a half, two hours where we read readings and we gather uh, around water and then we celebrate again the Easter Eucharist for the first time here in 2022, lighting the beautiful new Paschal candle that we have. And then Easter Sunday morning, our regular Masses are at 8.30 and at 11 o'clock, where we will celebrate the joy of Easter and then afterwards rejoice with a few jelly beans uh, from Ferrara's Bakery, that we celebrate rejoicing with the joy of our Lord risen from the dead. And then we get to celebrate Easter for 50 days until Pentecost. Now, as part of our Easter celebration, the second piece I'd like to offer you is we're having a special concert. Mr. Ron Onesti has announced that the JCCIA is going to be having one of these concerts out in the suburbs, but here in the city, we have been asked to host another concert by the Cardinal Domenico Bartolucci Choir. The uh, choir is here from the Vatican City and we are going to have a rare stateside performance here at the Shrine on Saturday night, April 23rd, 2020. The, um, the flyer is on our website. The details are there. It's a, it's a, it's a free concert on a Saturday evening at 7.30 p.m. here. Donations will be accepted, a free will offering that we will then pass on to, uh, to them as, as a way of saying thank you. And we will hear this wonderful choir with its great performance of sacred music that they do at the papal celebrations there at the Vatican. They will also be using some arias to, in, to grace the shrine with Easter music and beautiful opera singing. That's the second thing. Please consider coming and rejoicing in this wonderful event. And finally, we are celebrating during this month of April, we are celebrating the good news that indeed Christ is risen from the dead. And one of the ways we do that is to decorate the shrine to the tens. And so we will be decorating the shrine on Holy Saturday for Easter, and these decorations will be up for 50 days. So if you can't be with us for Easter, Come and visit us in the next 50 days and right through the beginning of June for Pentecost Sunday so that you can rejoice in the beauty of this little shrine as we pray and are grateful for the promise and the hope that one day this shrine will be repainted and will become a jewel box, a place for the city of Chicago, a place from the Italian community, a place that people will want to come and visit because here for a hundred years, and now continuing even now, we rejoice at the wonder and the promise of Christ given to us in this building by our ancestors and dedicated to the mother of God, Mary, and decorated uh, to the tens for this Easter season. So consider Holy Week at the shrine, consider this concert, consider visiting us and enjoying the beauty of this wonderful place that we gather in every week to sing the praises of God. So happy Miracle of moment, blessings and peace for a buona Pasqua, buona Pasqua, and may Christ risen from the dead be with us. And in Greek, they will say, Christos Anesti, Christ is risen. Happy Miracle of moment. <laughs>